Hello friends, in this video we will be synthesizing cobalt carbonate, cobalt 2 chloride and we will learn some cobalt chemistry. Well the thing is I needed some cobalt 2 chloride for some experiments with cobalt 2 complex but I had some cobalt 2 nitrate in my store. So I decided to precipitate out cobalt 2 carbonate and then make the cobalt 2 chloride. First of all, let us prepare some cobalt carbonate. For that, I have taken 3.6 grams of cobalt nitrate and 3.18 grams of sodium carbonate. Now, I add 20 milliliters of distilled water into the cobalt 2 nitrate and 10 milliliters of distilled water into the sodium carbonate. We now mix them well to dissolve the compound. We get a fairly concentrated solution of both the compounds. Next we add the cobalt 2 nitrate solution into the sodium carbonate. Immediately you see the formation of a purple or a violet colored precipitate. With the help of the glass stir rod, stir the content so that clumps get broken down and all the particles react with each other. What's happening here is cobalt 2 nitrate reacts with sodium carbonate to precipitate out cobalt 2 carbonate. This has a violet color. Give a nice stirring to ensure complete reaction. Finally, you get to see this nice violet color. The next step is to dry them. For that, I pour this down onto a tissue paper in order to soak up every water molecules and the precipitate gets dried up eventually. Here you can very well make out the purple color of the precipitate. After pouring it onto a tissue paper, I then kept this outside in direct sunlight and Everything was completely dry in about 3 hours. Then I broke the clumps using a mortar and here is the final yield of cobalt 2 carbonate. Ok, now we move on with synthesis of cobalt 2 chloride. First of all, measure out 3.57 grams of cobalt carbonate in a dry beaker. So here we have the cobalt carbonate. In the other beaker we have 10 milliliters of distilled water. That is for making a dilute solution of hydrochloric acid. With the help of a pipette, 2 milliliters of concentrated hydrochloric acid was pipetted out and added into the 10 milliliter water. Mix it well with the help of a glass stir rod and now we have a dilute solution of hydrochloric acid. Now this is what we are going to add into the cobalt carbonate. Add the acid into the beaker with the aid of a glass stir rod to direct the stream. You can immediately observe an effervescence and the solution slowly turns purple color. Similar to the concentrated potassium permanganate solution. The fumes of carbon dioxide and water vapor is liberated and the reaction is exothermic. Use the glass stir rod to mix it well and ensure the complete reaction. What is happening here is cobalt carbonate reacts with hydrochloric acid to form cobalt 2 chloride, carbon dioxide and water. After boiling down the solution and concentration, we finally see the crystals forming. You can see that the color is blue because I had kept the crystals in direct sunlight to dry and on increasing the temperature the color turns blue. And this is the final yield which we will be storing for a future video of making a complex compound. In the following video clip, we see some chemical reactions of cobalt compounds. I am using cobalt 2 chloride solution. In this solution, it exists as a complex where cobalt ion is surrounded by 6 water molecules. Then I added some sodium hydroxide solution into it which forms a blue precipitate. Here two molecules of water are deprotonated and it is not a ligand substitution as sodium hydroxide is a strong base. Now I slowly added some hydrogen peroxide into the same test tube. You can immediately see the formation of a brown colored precipitate and a gas is evolved. 
The precipitate is cobalt 3 oxide as hydrogen peroxide oxidizes the cobalt 2 plus into cobalt 3 plus. We can test the gas evolved by bringing a burning splint which you can see as it gets reignited as oxygen is a supporter of combustion. In this video we will be adding a little ammonium hydroxide to cobalt 2 chloride. Initially one of the water molecule is deprotonated to form the intermediate product with single OH and an H plus is released. Ammonia uses this H plus to form the ammonium ion. Since the product decreases, equilibrium will shift to the right and another molecule of water is deprotonated. Now it forms a stable product same like what we saw with sodium hydroxide. Now we add an excess of ammonia solution. It forms a clear solution which is brown in color. Initially with a few milliliters of ammonia it behaved as a Bronsted base releasing and accepting protons. But now when we add an excess of ammonia it behaves as a ligand and 6 water molecules are substituted by ammonia molecules which gives a complex with of cobalt which is surrounded by 6 molecules of ammonia. Next we take some sodium carbonate solution and add it into cobalt 2 chloride. On adding we can see the pink precipitate of cobalt 2 carbonate. Now on adding ammonium thiocyanate into the cobalt 2 chloride we get a red colored solution of ammonium tetrathiocyanate to cobalt 2 complex. Now on adding concentrated hydrochloric acid into the cobalt 2 chloride solution, a blue color is formed due to replacement of 6 water molecules by 4 chloride ions. And actually this is a reversible reaction that is why you see that the solution again turns pink. I would like to take this opportunity to thank my Patreon supporters who have financially supported me so that I could get the materials required for doing all these experiments, including this one. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you loved the contents of this video, do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button so that you will get notified about my future videos.